Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people to freely assemble and petition the government for a redress of their grievances. It's the First Amendment. It's all that matters. for sports wait a minute let me start the episode excuse me a second great granny special brew brew to perfect wait i don't even know i'd even taste it it's a special batch 100 percent pure great granny always does an excellent job you hear about it lance armstrong Six-time Tour de France. Took tons and tons of drug tests. Passed them all. Got his a medal. Got his medals. Now, years later, some little crybabies. Crybabies. Oh, well, me and Lance, uh, I never won, but, well, we used to dope. We used to try different things. We used to do blood doping and all kinds of stuff. And we did this back then, and even though we passed all the tests. So what do they want to do with old Lance, the boy? They want to strip him from his titles. He's sick of this. Sick of this stuff. Sick of this liberal loser people in Congress that have nothing better to do. They're going to sit there and they're not going to pass a budget. Over three years not pass a budget, but they want to, let's, let's chase Lance Armstrong. He, uh, he raised uh, $160 million for cancer. Let's go after him. So Lance says, I had enough of this stuff. Here, take my belts. You know what? You want to take a belt? Take her belt. Look at this. Look at this alien. Serena Williams. She couldn't pass a drug test as she tried. Hey, look. They gave her a test over the Olympics, but you know what? They weren't allowed to tell her. Her, her testosterone was three times as high as a man. She made it. She won the singles, and she won the doubles. If she's not taking steroids, I don't know who is. Anyway, I just thought, oh, I scared my. Oh, no, that's Serena Williams. I thought it was Lance Armstrong. <laughs> On roids. Folks, uh, Bills may, may need a new uh, quarterback. Yeah. Tavares Jackson from Seattle Seahawks. He started for Seattle about six games last year, I think I'll say. Oh, seven games. Wait a minute. Tavares seven started 14 games of quarterback last season. <laughs> Could have been too good because I, I didn't realize he started all 14 games. But anyways, the Bills want to make him as an addition to the team. A couple years ago before Brett Favre was there at Minnesota, Tavares led him to an 11-4 season. Great job. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe Vince, Fitzpatrick, UConn, Cornelius will move over and we'll put Tavares in the quarterback spot. Now time for a commercial break. Enough with sports because I've had it. I've had my fill. Sports. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the U.S. Olympic men. Uh, we're, we're the greatest basketball team in history. We're better than uh, uh, Larry Bird and Magic Johnson and Michael Jordan. Sorry, guys. You almost got beat by a couple of tulip teams. Lithuania? Smoke them. <laughs> Folks. Castellano likes to give you a little consumer reports now and then, tell you a couple of good businesses to go to. <laughs> Castellano's got a pool. And young Thomas enjoys it frequently. I like to keep my heat up in there because it gets cold at night. Excuse me a second, I'm cold right now. Anyway, went to uh, one of the top pool places. I don't have no beef with him right now, but... I went, Castellano, check my water. Oh, you need this, this, and this, this, and this. 
$130. Jeez, wow, Castellano. $130, $140, $115, $108. Wow. Every time you go, the pool water looks perfectly clear. You know what? Let me take a sample of this. I'm, I'm fine, buddy. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, I got, I got the stuff. I got it in my garage. Most of the time, I do have it because I buy extra all the time. But I just, Castellano's sick and tired. 114, 130, 120. Go to Leslie's like I have often in the past. On the way home from the gym. Here, uh, Mr. Leslie, sir, could you check this water? Same water I had checked at the other place. <laughs> How much? What do I owe you? <laughs> what do I got to put in it? Well, Mr. Castellano, your chlorine level is a little high. You know what? That's what the other people told me. I turned it down a notch. But uh, everything's fine. The chlorine should kill everything. Maybe the alkaline, maybe the borderline, but... Perfect. Well, what do I owe you? What do I got to put in? How much? <laughs> Zero! Nothing. 130 <laughs> to nothing. So many times. Why? Is Leslie inadequate? No, the guy did like 10 tests. Why? <laughs> because I don't need bacterial water there that I can, I can inject in my butt. I want water I can swim in. Fine. It cost me zero. So anyways, Leslie Pools, Castellano gives you an A+. plus. Not because I save money, because mind you, if you said... You need this or that, Castellano would add, but, you know, don't 100, 110 me, 120 me to death every time, every time I go. <laughs> so, Leslie Pools, this diet ginger ale is for you. <laughs> you know, I don't have to keep on getting the subjects here because I had to keep on toasting. Who else can I toast? Let's see. Yanni's Restaurant, fully remodeled, just went there the other day, the finest Italian Greek cuisine, excellent. People there work there. Nicest people you want ever want to meet. Food's been excellent for years. Continue the legacy. Yanni's restaurant. It's a tribute to my good buddy Yanni. And Yanni knew great granny, so <laughs> now it's time for a refill. Yanni's! <laughs> Did I mention it's been over a thousand days without a budget? Where's Harry Reid in Congress? Why don't you pass the budget? Why don't you pass the budget? You know why? Because then you got to be held accountable for what you spend. Mr. Obama, that's your main man, Harry. I'll, I'll rob your last nickel Reid. Over in Las Vegas? What, stay, <laughs> what you do in Vegas stays in Vegas? <laughs> what Harry Reid will do to you? It happens all over the country, and it happens right where you live. Oh, speaking of pests, folks... On a lighter note, we got a new sponsor of the show, Affordable Pest Control. My good buddy, Carrie, excuse me a second. Get the bed bugs out. <laughs> Spiders, wasps, whatever you got. The producer, <laughs> <laughs> Carrie, come over here and exterminate them. Anyways, Affordable Pest Control, get rid of the most vile pests, anything that bothers you. <laughs> Rodents like the producer. <laughs> Affordable pest control. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pests. Well, this isn't a pest. Actually, this gentleman, uh, Jeff Falco, my good buddy, um, got me a couple of good workers that worked uh, worked around my uh, lawn, pool, trees, landscaping. So, Jeff, this time you're not in the hot seat. I'll drink a toast to you, Mr. Falco. Thank you for your latest. Uh, and worker that just sent me, Bob, I hope I'm saying the same thing about him this weekend when he does more work at my house. So anyways, Felco, affordable pest control, this diet ginger ale is for you guys. No! Scrumply umptious. Now for the meat of the show. Let's see. Biden, Ryan, <laughs> Paul, Joe. No comparison. We got it's, it's like comparing Bozo to Einstein. Let's see who do we got. We got uh, Joe Biden. A gaff a minute. Like I said, I'd like to pull the plugs on top of that guy's head and watch him go down the drain. Joe Biden, the guy 
He's got like the intelligence of a fifth grader. And guess who we wanted to win for president? Hillary Clinton. But let's pick somebody. Um, let's see. We have to pick somebody with experience because I have none. I was a community organizer. I did drugs all during college. Hey, high school too. Um, folks, I saw 2016. Great movie, great movie, except they were a tiny bit politically correct because they didn't dwell into too much of his childhood. They let you know who he hung out with and what kind of sorts he, uh, you know, he chummed around with, radicals, uh, communists, racists, but they didn't have him going... We didn't talk to any of his drug dealers. <laughs> he must knew him good because the guy did drugs all during high school. We didn't find out enough about how exactly did he get into college, what his grades were. And hey, we want to know about Mitt Romney, how much taxes he paid. Well, first off, Mr. Obama, let's, uh, let's call a spade a spade. <laughs> Pardon my pun. I don't mean to say it racist, but let's tell the truth. Castellano isn't politically correct. So if they had offended anybody, too bad. <laughs> Who's going to throw me off the air? You? <laughs> it offended me. Yeah, well, I'm not racist. I'm just going to say, well, wait a minute. The guy's half white. Okay, what am I talking about? <laughs> what am I going to call him, a cracker? No, I'm not. I don't use those terms. Anyway, <laughs> Mr. Obama, you got insects like Warren and... Uh, what's that goof they're on in Florida? Weiserman Schultz or Heiserman or Heinz Ketchup, whoever she is. The goof. Oh, well, Romney, Romney uh, didn't pay enough taxes. Well, uh, let's, let's have him release more tax returns. Listen, listen, listen. The president, the president of the United States had his buddy Jeffrey Emmalt. Who's Jeffrey Emmel? Who's Jeffrey Emmel? General Electric owns NBC TV, MSNBC. Jeffrey Emmel, his job czar. What are you saying, Cass? Oh, it's just his friend. No. The president's fellow patron that he made his job czar. Do you know how much he paid in taxes last year, folks? He profited $10 billion. Dollars, not ten million. Ten billion dollars. And Jeffrey Emmel paid well. Let's see, twenty percent, twenty two percent, twenty five percent. Zero, zero. The president's got a lot of coyotes, or whatever you want to call them. Whatever. Beep me if you have to, producer, because I got this. Gonna. The president's got big ones. Because if he could get away with putting his jobs are in office that paid. <laughs> Zero taxes on ten billion dollar profit. He didn't make ten billion. He profited. It's his net ten billion. He paid zero. Well, with his buddy Jeffrey Allen, what did he do? He helped promote the vote. Yeah, because he, he Obama's so embarrassed. People are starting to find out about it. Jeffrey Emmelt, all the company cars that everybody drives for his corporation, if they want a company car, guess what they get? A vault. You guess what, folks? How many people you think that make a lot of money, they turned them down. Why would they want to see be seen with a vault? They want nice cars. Anyways, paid zero. So, we want to see... We want to see Mitt Romney's taxes for the last 10 years or maybe a couple years. He might have had some tax write-ups. He might have donated to orphanages. Oh, no, wait. He might have gave money to cancer or something. And he, he, might, have, he might have paid 90% or 80 Let's find out. Let's find out. Well, Obama, we know what you donated to. African dance troops. Uh, and NAACP. Uh, I don't know if you donated to Black Panthers. I'm not going to make up some silly joke, but you know, you didn't. But... Because you don't want to donate your money. I don't know, to abortion clinics? Who knows? Look, at you're the most radical, radical senator that ever came out of Congress on the abortion issue. We got through that several times. And you know what? <laughs> the story's so good, I'll get to it again. You don't only believe in it. You're not only pro-choice. You're the mo most pro-choice senator ever because you're the only one that if a baby was born alive, if it was scheduled for abortion, 
you wouldn't let any medical treatment be given to the baby. Yes, it's true, folks. I'll say it a thousand times. The most radical senator in history. You're only one. Every senator, Democrat, Republican, Libertarian, uh, uh, Presbyterian, whatever, Independent, they all said to give the baby treatment. You, Barack Hussein, whatever you are, Satan, would you say, let the baby die. It was scheduled to die. Let it sit there in a pile of rags on the floor like it's been in the past and die and quiver and cry until it's dead. Okay? No treatment. No medication to stop the pain. Remember, these abortions aren't just like, oh, let's, uh, like they, they got a, a mass murderer. And what do they do? They got five or six concoctions of Valium and medication to make the prisoner feel no pain. So it just goes off to sleep in La La Land. But we got an innocent baby that didn't ask for death. And how does it die? We inject saline salt. If you don't know what saline is, I'm going to tell you. Salt solution. Did you ever get salt on a cut before? It burns. So we inject saline into the baby while it's still in the mother's womb. What you're doing is you're burning the baby to death. And guess what? They take the baby out of the mother's womb and it's screaming and yelling in pain. And Barack Hussein Obama said, no treatment. The only senator on Republican and Democrat independent that voted that way. Barack Hussein Obama, and I'll tell that story every time because I hate it. I hate it. So do, do I like the president? I hate him. I hate him. You know why? Because he's an insect. Because he's a dumbo-eared liar, and I hate him. But, oh, Mitt Romney, Texas. Let's go to Texas. I want to know, Mr. Obama, let's see your term papers. Let's see what your grades were in high school. Let's see your grades were in college. How did you get into college? How did you get these? Are you being racist? Or, no, he's half white. I don't want to know what a, the white part of him that didn't get into these colleges, how they got into these colleges. Okay? I don't care about, okay, the, the, the I, I care about Barry Satoro. Uh, you know, the Barack Hussein Obama, the Muslim that you changed into a Muslim name, let him go. What happened to Barry Satoro? How did he get into college? The guy, 25 years old, all of a sudden he decided to go from Barry Satoro to Barack Hussein Obama. Okay? His father was a nobody. His father was a loser, liar, women-chasing loser. Okay? Parents, what'd they do? The only reason they got him in the newspaper, he, they did phony birth thing, is because they wanted welfare. What am I saying, Rick? His mother was white. His mother was trash. Mother was a communist. Okay? I'm saying it. I'm telling you. Know, was it Brock's fault? No, but it's his fault now. 